Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a front-end manager plugin for WooCommerce. If you are running a WooCommerce website and if you have dedicated shop managers, then you may not want them to access the WordPress dashboard of your website. You want to restrict the access of the shop managers to your WooCommerce website. You want the shop managers to access only the orders, products, coupons, and the reports of your WooCommerce website. In that case, you can install the front-end manager plugin for the WooCommerce website and limit the access of the shop managers to your WooCommerce website. Here, I'm logged into the dashboard of the WooCommerce website as a shop manager, and you can see that I do not have access to the WordPress dashboard. When I log into the website as a shop manager, I can see the front-end manager. Let's go to front-end manager, and from here, I can add the product I can create coupon, I can access the orders on this WooCommerce store, as well as I can see the reports. So this shop manager has limited access to the WooCommerce website. The name of the plugin is YITH Frontend Manager for WooCommerce. I'll show you how you can install this plugin and how you can limit the access of the shop managers to your WooCommerce website. The pricing of the plugin is only $69.99 per year for a single website and you will get 30 days money back guarantee also. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So let's see how does this work. Before we start with the installation of the plugin, let me inform you that today's video is brought to you by Breakdance. I have already published a video on how to install and use the Breakdance plugin. Breakdance is the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It is easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you are just starting your WordPress journey or you are a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try today and experience the Breakdance difference. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch the detailed video on how to use the Breakdance plugin and what are the features in the Breakdance plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this website. This is a demo WooCommerce website. Now we are going to install the YITH front-end manager for WooCommerce plugin. So let's go to the dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new plugin. I have already downloaded the plugin. So I'm going to upload the plugin now. Click on upload plugin. Click on Browse Plugin and browse the YITH Frontend Manager for WooCommerce Premium Plugin. Click on Install Now. Click on Activate Plugin. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left-hand panel, you will see the option YITH. And if you move the cursor on it, you will see the option Frontend Manager. Click on it. Now we are on the general settings of this plugin. When you install the plugin, it is going to create a page named as front end manager and we are going to assign that page as the front end manager so all the settings will be shown on this front end manager page it is created automatically by this plugin below that we have permalink settings after installing this plugin if you face any problem like 404 error on the front end then you can click on flush the permalink and it is going to flush the permalinks after that it will work properly Below that, we have not authorized title that will be restricted area. If you restrict any area from the shop manager, then it will show this title there. You do not have sufficient permissions to access this section. Then we have WordPress admin bar. At the top, you have this WordPress admin bar. If you do not want to show this WordPress admin bar, then you can check this option. After that, we have prevent backend access to the shop managers. This option allows you to prevent the shop managers from accessing the WordPress dashboard. So if you do not want the shop manager to access the WordPress dashboard, then you can check this option. By default, these two options will be unchecked. You can check these options and click on save options. Next option is sections. So you will see these sections will be available on the front end manager. So the shop manager will be able to create coupons. They will go to dashboard, logout, orders, products, and reports. I'll show you how does this look on the actual front end. These are the endpoints. I'll also show you what is endpoints. All right, let's go back to the general settings. Uh, let's go to front manager. Let's go to pages. I'll show you how does this look. 
as i said earlier the front end manager page will be created automatically if i go to view you will see this is how it is going to look currently we are logged in as the administrator of the website so we can access the wordpress dashboard also i have already added one user as a shop manager let me show you i have one user here and uh, this is the role shop manager so i'm going to access the same website using the shop manager let's go back to pages if you go to the website on the website i have this option here my account this is the default my account page of the woocommerce and you will see the front end manager is also added under my account page so this will be available for the shop manager so if i click on it it will go to the same page front end manager now from this front end manager i can create coupons i can also view the orders which are available then if i want to add order manually i can do that also now i'm going to log into the same website as a shop manager i have already opened this website in incognito mode and i'm logged in as the shop manager okay i'm on the my accounts page and you will see the front end manager is available for this shop manager click on front end manager now as a shop manager i can access all these areas of the woocommerce website however i do not see the wordpress admin bar and i cannot access the wordpress dashboard as a shop manager let me go back to wp dash admin and you will see that i still do not have option to access the wordpress dashboard so if you have shop manager and if you do not want the shop manager to access the wordpress dashboard as well as other settings of your wordpress website then you can definitely try using this plugin as a shop manager i can go to my accounts and from there i can go to front end manager and from here i can add the product let's go to products it will show the list of all the products which are available if i want to edit the product i can simply go to edit product and i can edit the existing product from this option let's say if i want to add a product i can go to all products again and you will see the option here add new or you will see this option here add product if i click on it it will give you the option to create a new product i can add the image gallery title description excerpt is nothing but the short description then select the type of product if you want to add a variable product you can create variables attributes is also there so you can select the attribute and create a variable product so as a shop manager i can add the product i can manage the products i can also manage the categories and tags these are the tags and i can also create attributes currently we have color and size attribute if i want to add new attribute i can create a new attribute from here after that let's go to orders here and you will see all the orders here and you can manage the orders also if i click on this it will show the order details so everything is available on the front end you can also create a new order manually let's go to add order and from here you can create a new order you will see the status in many cases customer may call you and ask you to place the order manually over the phone so you in that case you can add the order manually all right so this is all about the orders then we have coupons the shop manager will be able to create coupons they can also see all the coupons and manage the coupons if i click on add coupon you will see an option to create a new coupon let's say of 20 and i'm going to create a new coupon here 20% discount coupon type will be card discount or fixed product discount percentage discount i'm going to create percentage discount what will be the coupon amount let's say 10 allow free shipping expiry date you can add expiry date minimum spend maximum spend so all the features to create a coupon are available on the front end manager so i can select the product exclude the product product category exclude category once done i can click on save and create a coupon so you can see that one coupon is created if i go to all coupons you will see that coupon is there if you want to delete you can delete or you can edit the coupon if i go to dashboard you will see the reports or the stats of the woocommerce store net sale awaiting process order on hold orders low stock level product out of stock if i go to reports you will see all the reports also right let's say you do not want to show the reports to the shop manager let's go back to the dashboard go to yith front end manager 
and go to sections now let's say i do not want to show the reports to the shop manager so in that case i'm going to uncheck this box and click on save options now let's go back let's go to dashboard and you will see that this reports option is gone so the shop manager will not be able to see the reports so from here you can manage the sections that you want to let the shop manager access let's check this box again and save options let's go back to shop managers account refresh it and you will see the reports option is available so if you are running woocommerce website and if you want to limit the access of the shop managers to your woocommerce website then you can try using the yith frontend manager for woocommerce the pricing of the plugin is only 69.99 dollars per year for a single website and you will get 30 days money back guarantee also if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.